Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTGB foundation level certification. We are in chapter four talking about test analysis and design and continuing with our same segment that is 4.4 experience based test techniques. And as a part of today's tutorial, we'll be looking into the next technique, which is exploratory testing. Given exploratory testing is a very common term today and no matter you're doing agile or traditional methodologies, exploratory testing has become one of our day-to-day -day activities to be conducted, especially when it comes to agile methodology. And every single tester has a good understanding of what exploratory testing is all about. But there's a small myth before we start talking about the characteristics of this technique. The very important and most misunderstood part of the exploratory testing is that it is about exploring and testing the product, okay? People think that randomly clicking on the application and exploring uh, exploratory way of testing the system is called as exploratory testing, which is actually incorrect. The most important thing here to understand is when we have poor specification, we do not even know what exactly is the detailed expectation of the system. What exactly are the detailed requirements? So exploration is more about asking questions to the business stakeholders or internal stakeholders like designer, developer, etc. to gain more insights and understanding about what is the requirement. Now, a very simple statement to justify that what I just said. That given that a tester really understands what the requirement is all about, you cannot test it at all. Because for example, if I don't tell you what a login page should do, you can come up with your standards, but you cannot not meet my exact needs, right? So however, at any point of time, a customer expectation is equally important, right? Not just the technical standards. What is that I expect the system to behave as should be implemented? So given that your requirements and specifications are sometimes poor, that's where you use experience-based test techniques. And exploration here is more about gathering more information, more data, more details about the requirements so that the tester can really understand what the expectation and ask is. And based on that, you can go ahead and design your execution process. However, it's not mandatory that you should write test cases here, but just defining the approach, what to test, you should know what exactly is the requirement all about. So let's clarify this myth. Exploratory testing is not about randomly clicking on the application and testing it. It's more about exploring the product requirement, getting to the common understanding, and then defining what to test. Right, let's have a look on this, what the characteristics of this particular technique is trying to talk about. Number one and most important thing in exploratory testing, tests are simultaneously designed, executed, and evaluated while the tester learns about the test object. The very first line is making it clear what we were talking about. However, they're just also trying to highlight that it's not necessary that you must write the test detail in beginning in test design phase and in very detailed fashion. A high level one liner test is also fine, which can be created on the go right before the execution also. But more importantly, we will have to explore the requirement and while exploring the requirement, you have to write the one liner high level requirement. Also to add here, the testing is used to learn more about the test object to explore it more deeply with the focus test and to create test for unnested areas. So this is more to tell, of course, by doing a deep dive, by, you know, exploring the requirements in different manners, different expectations, asking different questions. You are trying to elaborate more about what is the real ask. And based on that, you conduct the testing and certainly you may find good and real defects related to that. Also to add here, exploratory testing is sometimes conducted using session-based testing to structure the testing. In a session-based approach, exploratory testing is conducted within a defined time box. The testers uses a test charter containing test objective to guide the testing. So two other major characteristics have been disclosed very clearly here. Number one, we make use of a session-based testing approach. The session-based testing approach simply means that each execution is called as a test session and is time boxed. Now here the time box certainly means it is between the duration of 30 minutes to 120 minutes. However, these are some of the old standards which define that we may not just run a test session for eight hours long. So we must break our scenarios into smallest parts so that we can just accommodate that into 30 minutes to 120 minutes of time. That means at least 30 minutes you would need to explore something or run an exploratory test. 
our maximum two hours are enough to get to the exact need of the scenario any scenario you cannot explore more than two hours of time right so every session has to be separated from the other session so that we can really have the key objectives achieved and at the same time we are also saying that there is a simple documentation used in exploratory testing which is mandatory document called as test charter so test charter is basically just like a log sheet just like a log sheet not the log sheet it's just like a log sheet which contains information about each test session for example date time duration start time end time the tester performing it the environment in which you are executing what sort of test data is being used what is the scenario being considered what user persona is being used and what is the key objective of doing this session and at the same time you also summarize the end outcome that what was your observations during the execution was there any good findings or everything is just working fine but there are no findings related to defects so it's just that this charter is something really important to be there as a part of each test session which justifies that the tester has performed testing given that most of the experience based techniques are very testless testless that means we don't write test cases we don't prefer writing test cases in, even if we write it we write it very high level so it sometimes becomes very difficult to understand what the tester has actually performed or what is that we have really achieved so having that small observation or findings at the end of the each test session included in the test charter will give us that satisfaction and confidence that yes this part was tested exploratory however we also have something else to add here that is the test session is usually followed by a debriefing that involves discussion between the tester and the stakeholders interested in the test results of the test session quite often people ask that what is the reporting method in exploratory testing like do we really document the results and so on now given that test charter will have a high level information uh, on top of it the, the tester can participate in a debriefing session where debriefing is more of like i don't want you to know or i don't want to know what exactly you did for two hours of time rather i'll ask you questions which will answer me what i really need to know so in simple words if i talk about a training is basically a briefing session Training is an example of briefing session where I have the knowledge and I'm expressing it, I'm talking about it, and everyone is listening and grasping the skills. But interview is an example of debriefing session where you have the knowledge, that is, I have the knowledge, but I'm not allowed to speak for eight hours to tell what exactly happened. Rather, the interviewer will ask only what he wants to know from my 15 years of experience, and I'll just have to answer that, not what I did for 15 years for 15 days. Okay, so debriefing is we ask the questions and only ask those questions what we want to know. And as far as those are good, we are happy and satisfied, satisfactory at that point of time. Now, in addition, in this approach, the test objective may be treated as high level test conditions. Of course, the conditions will be very high level and coverage items are identified and exercised during the test session. The testers may use test session sheet to document the steps followed and the discoveries made. Exploratory testing is useful when there are few or inadequate specification or there is significant time pressure on the testing. However, this part we already know that we have to document whatever happens during the exploratory test session. And same time, we want to let you remind that, remind that the basis of exploratory testing is again the same as that of experience based as a category. That is when the specifications are poor or when you have time pressure, exploratory is very commonly used. Also to add here, exploratory testing is also useful to com com complement other more formal test techniques. Exploratory testing will be more effective if the tester is experienced, has domain knowledge and has a higher degree of essential skills like analytical skills curiosity and creativeness don't forget that these type of techniques are completely dependent on testers experience if a tester has really worked on different types of similar projects or products they will be very good at yielding defects however the part one of this particular point is also trying to tell you tell you that it is a complementary technique over formal techniques so what does that mean it simply means that even if i've conducted formal techniques and derived some formal test cases and executed it Doing a round of exploratory on top of it will give you a better coverage and better confidence. So most of the companies also practice this combined approach that they first apply formal techniques to derive the standard test cases, execute it formally, and on top of it, they do a round of exploratory testing to find something different. 
than the former. So it's been understood practically that sometime being ad hoc, sometime being not aligned can also help you find good defects, right? So in that context, exploratory, exploratory testing is seen as a very, very complementary test technique on top of the formal. So it's not necessary that if you're doing formal techniques, you don't apply experience space at all. If you want, you can always top it up with a round of exploratory, which will really give you a good confidence and better coverage to be releasing the product. Okay, so put together, that's all what we have to share from exploratory testing. So I hope you had a good understanding of that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning. Thank you.